Everybody, how are you? Or good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are. Uh, this is Joanna. Welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. I'm Joanna. And um, I thought we would do a whip and chat today. Whip and chat means oh I gotta get I gotta get some couture on here. A whip and chat means basically work in progress and um, <clears throat> I have a work in progress. I'm just trying to find a little something to... get everything blinged up here a little bit. Okay. Work in chat means work in progress, and I am doing a, uh, right now I'm doing my Meet Me in New York Girl, and I thought it would be so much fun. So, I uh, just wanted to catch up with you guys and to a little chitty chatty and... Where is everything? I just lost my my pen and my... Here we go. Let's do the under the sea pen. Isn't she pretty? I love the ombre. You know, it looks like water. Anyway, um... So, I thought that I would just try to make a little I've already gotten one square finished I'm on my second square and I can't even remember I'd love to tell you where I got this pen but I don't know you know me I'm not good at remembering I did however put this particular uh, painting on my description I finally got John I was like Honey, where did I get this thing? I don't even remember. And you know what happens when you're just window shopping? When you just get on the internet, like, for no apparently good reason. And, uh... You... <clears throat> You find yourself going, oh, this is so cute. I love it. And you impulsively just sort of buy it. So um, that's what happened here. Which is great because she's not that hard to do. She's not that big. And I cannot wait. I'm, I'm going to do a little customizing to her. So... Don't get nervous, everybody. It's it's gonna be a little a little um, off the grid, but I think it will make her uh, sparklier and prettier, and I just can't wait. I can't wait to get her done. Well, what a week it has been! Oh my God. Guys, so much has gone on this week. And I mean, don't you hate it? Well, let's let's just start the whole thing on a positive note, right? Don't you hate it when? And I was like, oh, God, here we go again with this. I don't want to turn it into a rant. But uh, let's see. Long suffering husband got me the cutest shirt. I'm gonna wear it on my live tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably do a face to face live. I haven't done one in a long time. Not like I've really changed that much, although this mug, you know, is not a fine wine. It isn't getting better with age. I tell you what, I am taking it. 
with not a grain of salt at all. Um, <clears throat> now, after the mini stroke, the mini stroke, I found out that I did have a slight slur in that there was a slight downward kind of movement in my face on my left side. It just kind of slumped ever so slightly. But I also found out that when I smile, it doesn't show, which means I'm going to have to smile a lot. <laughs> I may have to be a happy, smiley, go girl face forever now. Or at least until, I don't know if that muscle is going to return. It's all kind of, again, then again, there's always our little friend, Botox. <laughs> and who doesn't need a little Botox, really? I think people think Botox is just a vanity thing, but I know people who take it for all kinds of reasons. People take it for migraines, and people take it for uh, stroky things that happen to their faces. And it actually helps to uh, tighten... And regain the muscle, which I know, look at my hands. Oh, God. I said I was going to do a manicure yesterday, but I didn't get around to it. You guys will have to forgive me. Take me as I am, you know? Take me as I am or throw me in the trash like everything else, but... <clears throat> that is how it's going. I mean... I, you know, I mean, honestly, I love people who do this craft. I do. But have you heard lately? Oh, my God. Did you guys hear this? I couldn't believe it when I heard it. There are people. There are people uh, on UBTube. Who are doing unboxings and buying copious amounts of diamond paintings and farming them out. They are pimping them out, people. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait a minute. If you're going to be on here and you're going to be promoting a craft and you're going to be advocating a craft and you're going to be making money on a craft and you want us to support you every month in the craft, could you at least, I mean, at the very, very least, do your own work? I mean, that is such a big, fat, fakety, fakety, fat freaking scam. I'm like, oh my God. You know, I mean, could you imagine? It's like, oh, hey, um, I found two Chuck Pinsons and I really love them, but I don't really have time to do them. <laughs> if you don't have time to do them, why did you order them? <laughs> and I know because I kind of, I, I gassed up a little bit for the summer. You know, I think a lot of people did. A lot of people stashed up for the summer because we didn't know what shipping would do. We didn't know what customs was going to do. You know, there were a lot of unsureties. And I don't think it caused all of us to hoard, but some of us did. I did not hoard, but I did collect a few things to do over the summer because I don't want to be waiting around for two or three months for something to happen when the summertime is when I really have most of my idle time. Basically, I do two things during the summer. You guys, I basically, uh, 
I swim. I have to get the dogs out super early because they are polar bear dogs. My dogs are, if we haven't met yet. <laughs> if we haven't met yet, I'm kind of a dog girl. And for the last 20 years, I've been a dog trainer and a behavioralist. And what I would do is I had a arrangement with about three or four shelters that were kill and no kill shelters. And I would agree to take a dog um, when I had a client lined up a uh, most likely a veteran or somebody who maybe couldn't afford ten thousand dollars for a therapy or an assistance animal and i say assistance it's a very big umbrella you know um there's several different now i am trained to train an actual service dog and i had two that were actual service dogs Matter of fact, when they passed away, the governor, who oh, I'm not a real big fan of, he did offer us a proclamation because of the work that they did and the, um, the time that they gave to the community because they went to everything. They went to five-star events with me. They went to a massive big high dollar evening gown uh charity functions and then they went to schools and they went to uh particularly schools with special needs children because they were so mellow they wouldn't even lick you if i put a prime rib on your face they wouldn't lick you they they my dogs aren't lickers they're not um a lot of great Pyrenees don't lick by nature, but I actually trained mine not to. You know, they could kiss me if they wanted to, but they couldn't lick anybody else. So, anyway. <clears throat> um, I would never farm out my responsibilities for a uh, where's where's the number for this puppy huh oh, here it is i would never farm out the responsibilities for a puppy you know who who was in my care who was my responsibility to some schmo and try to call it my own and if you're out there and you know who you are i'm not making this i'm not making this up and it's a person with a whole hella hella lot of followers so if i said the person's name you probably know it right off the bat but i couldn't believe it because I found this person to be so kind and so genuine. Boy, did I get... I am really an idiot. I tell you what. <laughs> I fall for this stuff all the time. All the time, you guys. But um, my, my son calls them LARPers. He said, if you're doing something and you say you're doing it, but you're really not doing it, you're, you're pawning it off to somebody else. It's one thing to have a costume for a party or an event and uh, say, oh yeah, I made it. You know, how many times have we gone to Costco and... You know, uh, somebody was like, oh my God, this dessert is so good. And you're like, secret family recipe, which is Costco. I mean, you know, that's one thing. But <laughs> this is a craft. This is something you're supposed to be doing and enjoying. 
And I couldn't believe not only did they admit that they farm slash pimp that shit out. I know. I'm not supposed to be swearing, but I'm going to anyway. I've had a stroke and I've got brain damage. Which, by the way, I'm playing that brain damage card till I die. My kid laughs at it. You know, every time you swear, you're like, I got brain damage, I got brain damage, I can't do that. And um, he just cracks up. He, he thinks it's so funny. But um, seriously, I... I cannot condone and or support anybody who wants to farm it out. Come on, you guys. Do the work. I mean, it's not like it's... Look. I mean, you could train a monkey to do this. You know, it's not that difficult. I mean, it's a simple... Yet, creative craft. I mean, this is even going to get creative. I plan to do a lot of recharting on her and blinging out on her. And, um, uh, I love her red Birkin. I got a Birk, I got a bee bag years ago from my husband. It was a special anniversary. Believe me, we don't run around buying bee bags. But, <clears throat> he got it for me, and now I'm kind of thinking I really want a red one. <laughs> I'm going to have to part the ocean for that. I don't know. I'll have to make him, try to make him remember how fabulous I am. And But anyway, so I wanted to do the red back, and I want to do her sunglasses in red and I want to do her shoes in red and I want to bling it out a little bit uh the meet me in New York letters are going to be uh this is what she looks like hold on let me try to find the um the actual photograph of what she's gonna look like when she's done I don't know if I can find this or not. Oh. Uh, okay, I got her. I got her. Hold on one second. Phone, can you just drag a little bit more? See, it's got Meet Me in New York and letters with hearts. And behind it is a Statue of Liberty, the Chrysler Building. She's got a big kiss mark on her. And then uh, a little uh, snoopy doopy. My girlfriend has a Yorkie. Her name is Lady Gaga. And so I, I definitely want to do this, but I think I might do the sunglasses in red just for fun i'm not really sure yet but i love this and it's and it's really pretty simple it's it's really a uh in between the big boys snack is what i'm calling it because it just um it's got a little bit of confetti up here but if you look down here it's all color blocking and that is going to go so fast because I love the multi-placer, don't you? Uh, oh, my God. Anyway, but um, just saying, okay, two points I want to make and then I'm going to call it a day because nobody wants to hear a total bitch fit, right? Um, uh... Oh, and I do have one one more thing before my poor little short brain forgets it. Um, Mindy and Maritza are doing a Christmas in July event. And I found a smaller 
smaller than Blue Christmas because that thing was like 100 by 100 and massively huge. But um, I did find one that was smaller and it is going to be so cute as an accompaniment to my big boy. Um, and uh, I just got a shipment on it today. I'll have it by Monday, so I will be able to do Christmas in July, which kind of makes me so happy because, let me tell you guys, I am all about Christmas. John and I are Mr. and Mrs. Christmas. We dress up as Santa and Mrs. Claus every year, and we bring our dogs, and we go to... Now, last year we couldn't because of COVID and all that, but... <clears throat> Uh, matter of fact, there was a couple last year that, that the Santa and Mrs. Claus actually did get COVID. They were trying to do, you know, Santa without a mask and just have people wave at them from behind a piece of plexiglass. That didn't work out so well. They both wound up very sick. I am vaccinated, but I still, you know, I, I, I don't want these children to go without. So, um, we'll probably mask up for it. I'll make some pretty, pretty glittery. Maybe I'll get some diamond painting and we'll just do a mask. We'll do a fun mask. Um, <clears throat> Either way, that's going to happen this year. But what I want to say is, while we're while we're having our moments, um, I want to address one little thing. I know I'm not a big channel. I know I just started. I'm a baby. I, I I've only been doing diamond painting since January, but. <clears throat> Don't come and join contest to draw winners and and then have nothing to do with people with their channel. It's just freaking rude. And I know there are people who don't want to be a part of something. I don't like it. I'm only speaking for me. I don't like it. And I don't think you should like it either. This light keeps going off and on. Anyway, um, that and, and please remember to like and subscribe if you like something. Because it means the world to us. It means the world to me. I am just now building a channel and I'm building a community the people I have in my community, I adore. And um, I'm sure there are people who don't care for me either. I really don't care. You know, I'm not at that place in my life. Either you love me or you don't. I don't have time for either one. 19 is R. So... Let's all just try to be nice. Can we just be nice? Can we all just get along? And stuff? Try not. I mean, is winning like a cover minder that important to you? Because if it is, I will send you one. Okay? I mean, it ain't that big a deal. Um, so don't just go run and hop on things just because they're doing a giveaway. I noticed... I did a giveaway about a month ago, and it was right before I had the stroke. I know, everybody talks about this stroke like it's so fatal, but I was really, really lucky. I mean, I got to the hospital right away. I am now not slurring. My speech therapist is busting my ass. She told me, are you ready for this? <laughs> she told me I had to talk more. And not less. Um, I I almost fell over. I almost I almost hit the floor. I really did. I was like, 
Have you lost your freaking mind? Have you lost your noodle? Has anybody ever checked you out? I, people have been telling me I talk too much since birth. Okay, lady? But <clears throat> she's telling me the more I talk, the less I'll slur and the less I will feel all of the... Um, The uh, the things from the syrup. So, I'm taking her at her word. And I'm going to talk you guys. I'm going to talk your ears off. I hope. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Shine on. Have a great day. Do your own diamond paintings. Don't pimp them out. Don't shoot them out to the girl down the street and then try to take credit for it because that's just kind of rude. You know, I mean, you're not going to get any love here. We're not going to love you for it if you don't. So uh, shine on. Have a great, great weekend. I am going to be LARPing along on this for about two hours and then I am going in the pool because swimming is life to me. I need to get in water. <clears throat> I used to be a swimmer years ago and the swimming is actually now part of my therapy, which is like, hey, why don't you tell me to eat chocolate? I mean, really. It's so, you know, like you don't have to force me on that one. Uh, because it's the only exercise I can do right now where I know I'm not going to get heat stroke. And uh, speaking of which, it's... Uh, I still have this cherry juice under my nails from the fresh cherries. Uh, I'll do a manicure today somehow. Anyway, um, talk to you later, guys. Shine on. Love you. Bye-bye. Shine on. Shine, shine, shine. Bye.